Yes, yes, so hello, sir. Off to see the match in Budapest. Let's get straight into it. Yeah, so I went to Budapest for a long weekend and I saw Dimash there on Saturday the 4th of May 2024. So here are some photos and video clips of my time there, I'll speak over the top of them. I wanted to make a short video just to share some of my experiences whilst there, some photos and videos including of the concert itself. Many of you have asked me for my thoughts on the concert too, so I'll go over that as well. Budapest is lovely, it was my third time going, I went previously in 2014, 2022 and now again this year. I love it. I think it's a lovely city. As you'll see from these photos, there are a lot of quirky places to visit, both at daytime and nighttime. There's a real, real mix of things to do and see, whether it's sightseeing or exploring restaurants or pubs or cafes or museums or traveling around on the river or by bus or walking or electric scooters. These are great, by the way, really fun. And you can see so much of the city on them. They're super, super efficient. Before I give my thoughts on the concert, I'd just like to say a thank you to everyone who came and said hi to me and met me in person. I wasn't expecting this at all, so it was a very pleasant surprise, especially in the streets of the city itself. You were all very kind, you gave me Dimash badges. It was amazing to learn about where and when you'd seen Dimash previously, or when you're seeing him next. Where you've come from, Dimash really does help to connect people from around the world. It's quite amazing, the Dia's fandom is quite something. Here are some clips from the concert itself. I was quite far back and my phone quality is poor so apologies for that. So again, sorry about the quality of my video clips. Ultimately, I wasn't there to film the concert. I was taking it all in, in person, live. I just took these to have as a memory. I didn't have my analytical brain on whilst watching. So as much as possible, I was just trying to shut off and experience the music at a raw level. There's definitely something different about seeing the performance in the flesh versus a recording of it afterwards. So I wanted to make the most of that. I was pretty far back, as you can see. So I couldn't see Dimash too well in person. There were some screens to help. The first thing that really surprised me was the volume. It was loud. I think the audio engineers made some adjustments after it started, so everything was evened out a bit better. And you quickly adjust to these things. Dimash. Dimash, Dimash, Dimash. He's incredible. I think my expectations were so high that if he wasn't incredible, I'd be disappointed, as silly as that sounds. He didn't disappoint. He really was great. He did audience participation exercises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
sang happy birthday to an audience member who had a sign saying it's my birthday I can see I can see come closer birthday what's your name? as you know I'm relatively new to Dimash the only music I've heard by him are the songs that I've reacted to and his concerts are long you know they're three hours he gets through a lot of music so there were quite a few songs that I've never heard before some of them were noticeably more modern in style some of his own songs <laughs> When I do react to these songs, it will be interesting because it's likely that he probably did a different arrangement in the concert. He did that for the songs that I know, which I think is really exciting. It's like experiencing a song that you already know for the first time again. SOS, the first song I ever heard him sing, my introduction to Dimash. Again here, it was a different arrangement. It was less extreme in terms of range, but bigger emotionally in other parts. Yeah, seeing him live was great, as expected. I never doubted that he'd be absolutely insane live. And it was quite remarkable, you know, thousands and thousands of people filmed the whole thing pretty much. So there'll be so much fan footage out there. It's probably already circulating. I've not yet had time to look. So on top of just the amazing performance all round, pitch, articulation, energy, emotional capacity, the one thing that I really noticed that makes Dimash even more more remarkable it was his stamina there were a couple of cases where I could hear that he was getting tired and fair enough after two hours of singing really really intense music but then suddenly he just be hit with a burst of energy. It was like he'd just come on stage for the first time again. So yeah, you know, I don't want to say too much more. I want to keep this a fairly short video. I think I've already failed at that. I won't be giving any sort of in-depth analysis about any of the songs. This was just a video to give my overall thoughts and to thank everyone who came and spoke to me and to everyone, to all of you who watch my channel. At the end of the day, it's because of you that I know about Dimash, that I've been introduced to his music, this amazing music I've been lucky enough to go and see him live and I'm sure there are others who have discovered Dimash through the Sir Hairless channel. He's an artist that yeah is truly one of a kind. The stuff he can do is ridiculous and not just on a performance level he lives and breathes music. I think he really deserves global uh, recognition. Incredible musician he was really really great on the stage. Great showmanship as well. He kept the audience engaged with his intersong speeches and audience participation exercises. Sing one more time, more loudly. You can do that. You can do that. One, two, three. Yeah, all round, great trip and a lot of fun. On that note, let me know in the comments if you'll be attending his 30th birthday concert in Istanbul. That will be on May the 24th, 2024. If it's anything like the Budapest concert, it will be amazing. If you are able to go, I really could not recommend it more. Hopefully in the years to come, I'll see more of you at future Dimash concerts. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.